UFC 175 is this weekend. While Chris Weidman enters the co-main event as the undisputed middleweight champ, it hasn't always been that way. Quite the opposite, actually. On his way to the title, Weidman has had to overcome obstacles both in and outside the octagon. Here's a look at Weidman's incredible rise to the top of the sport as part of our coverage of Red, White, and Fight Week. Weidman went on to beat Silva and win the middleweight title and then defeated him again in December when Silva suffered that gruesome broken leg. Weidman returns to the octagon on Saturday at UFC 175 to face Lyoto Machida. And speaking of six-time Sprint Cup champions, they also get to have all the characters come around at once as opposed to maybe just running into Tweedledee and exactly. Tweedledum. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Good point. That's Think how he rolls. We're, yeah. we're, we're yeah. talking during the break, you guys, your favorite football team down there in Carolina, obviously the Carolina Panthers, but uh, mm -hmm. you might want to put that on the back burner because we have a member today of the Tampa Bay Brain in just a second, but until then, I'm Cole Wright filling in for Mike Hill alongside Molly McGrath, and we're talking baseball. Justin Verlander. Nice. Time now for who you got, Molly. Who do you have? I'm going to be uh, watching the Cardinals-Giants game tonight. Giants with a big win last night off a great showing from Tim Lincecum, and they needed it, losing 15 of their last 20. Epic collapse, but I still believe. All right, the one I have to watch for, that would have to be tomorrow's game. It goes down 1 o'clock on the West Coast here. Let's do the math. Yeah, you, you can do the math at home. Uh, it's going to go down. <laughs> Columbia, Brazil on the pitch, coming from the 24th of July, America. We're here to get you ready for a big night in sports, that's for sure. Yeah, that's right. It was a wet round of qualifying in Daytona, and we'll get you out there for a whole lot more. But first... That's right. It doesn't... Kansas starting six. But how about someone else trying to win it all down in Brazil, the host country? But what terrible news today might have destroyed their hopes? 